Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm just glad you're here. Quick shout out and thank you to the channel members, thank you all, and quick shout out and thank you to anybody who's found your way in here to check out my Knife and EDC content, I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, and you're so inclined, if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, it really helps me out helps my videos get seen by more people who might normally see it, and I just really appreciate it. Today, I've got a knife that was not on my initial radar. I knew it was coming out, but the look of it closed was a little awkward to me. I didn't realize what I would find if I took a chance on it, like happens with so many knives. So, this is Loot 10 Tex. New Breed EDC, a new company, his Clydesdale. I look at this as kind of a hefty, utilitarian style knife with a big utility blade with super comfortable ergonomics. And we'll get into that in detail, but in an overshot, that is what the knife feels and looks like. The action of the knife is stellar. I'm not a top flipper, guys. You know I hate, with a capital H, top flippers. This one's done very well. The blade hole in this one, the deployment hole, as I like to call it, whether you thumb flick, which I don't, I hate thumb flicky because I'm just an asshole, or the middle finger flick, which I love. This blade hole is so narrow and it is so versatile whether I grab the blade where my finger happens to be down here or if it happens to be up towards the top of the blade. I missed it there because I was looking at it. But you can literally flip it when you get it in your position of your hand anywhere in that blade hole and it flies open. It is a tall, like I said, utility type, cleavery, sheep's footy, worn cliffy blade with a very unique hump here at the front, which I'll explain where that comes in very handy. And then you've got this very nice deep hollow grind about halfway up the blade. I don't know if you can see it there. I know when I put it in this angle, it blurs it. I don't know why it doesn't focus on it. But when we cut, you guys will see it. it's a very wicked hollow um, very well done sharpening choil. Um, again, if I was going to nitpick, because I can't find a lot to fault this knife with, I, I really like it. I've enjoyed carrying it. Um, it's going to stay in my collection. It's uh, Usually I don't keep as many value knives, which this one falls into, but um, I'm going to use this knife as kind of a hardcore user. Um, but say when I was back to the nitpicking, if I could nitpick this at all, I would say the sharpening choil could be brought back pl closer to that plunge where it gets thicker. You've still got several very good sharpenings there. I don't see that becoming a problem, especially for somebody like me who uses so many different knives, but just something on you know the next version or something to think about. That would be some constructive criticism I could give or some nitpicking this. This one is in 14C 28N. This is the configuration that it comes in with for somebody like me with ADHD. That's perfect because I don't have to wrestle over which version I want to get. This comes in just a very nice brushed uh, or tumbled, lightly tumbled titanium with a black clip, black hardware, and a black pivot. T8s all the way around, nice black backspacer, and then you've got this titanium filler spot for the reversible clip. So 10-4 and well done on every one of those things. I mean, that checks a lot of boxes, right guys? The thing that makes this knife equally as impressive is this is a knife, if I'm not mistaken, is OEM'd by Kubi. Um, and I bought this knife. I don't have a discount code. Bought it from Newbreed EDC. It was only $125.
I know that's not a sub hundred dollar knife, but for the materials, the design, the workmanship, going to my metal complex chops to see how much bite I've got on my blade, which is amazing. You've got, what I didn't say is you've got the jimping here for your main cuts, right? You've got this really nice jimping, regardless of your hand size, you're gonna find it. But then you've got this little interesting indent up here, and what it does is it lets you guide that tip as you're doing detail cuts, right? It just gives you a natural spot to control that tip. And when I say that tip, it is definitely a splinter getter. It is super sharp, super pokey, and could be used very easily as a slurpee saver, um, even though it's kind of cleaver style, right? So that is the new breed EDC Clydesdale. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons on this knife. And it's been a while since I've broken out my Satu Ground Cold Steel 4 Max. What a beautiful grind. And let's look at it with the Civiti Baby Banter. So smaller than our 4 Max. Larger than our Baby Banter. No surprises there. Let's look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out. About a half inch shorter than the Benchmade Bug Out. Or bigger, longer than the Benchmade Bug Out. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Maybe three quarters to a half inch shorter than the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So that's a couple of knives to give us a little idea. Um, we'll get some dimensions. A weight. Let me see if I can get to my tape measure. The Javon Promotional Tape Measure Replacement. I've got my NAS ruler over here. I need to break it back out. I really like that ruler. That's why I bought it. I just have a hard time reading it. So if I take it to the back of this knife, I'm going to call it seven and a half, even though it's going to be a little bit larger than seven and a half. If I went to the furthest part back, I'm going to call it a seven and a half inch knife. I'm going to call the blade right under three and a half. I'm going to give the cutting edge right under three and a quarter. And guys, you know I'm not perfect with the tape measure. And the only thing that I'm worse with than a tape measure is my little grippy grippies. So let's go to inches. And our blade thickness. 0 0.1205, 0 0.1205 all the way across the top, behind the edge, Point zero one nine five. what's that, 19 thousandths? I need to learn how to regurgitate the numbers that I'm getting off of these 0.0190 up towards the front, and then the handle, which is contoured, comes in at 0 0.48, 0 0.47, and we will get a weight on this guy. Break out the uh, Amazon scale. Four point six ounces, which to me is perfect, because like I said in the initial description, it's kind of like a robust or a hulky utility knife. Um, again, what really sets it apart from just that description is the action. You've got this really nice inset steel lock bar. You've got weight relief on both of your scales. You've got liquid drop shut action. I'm horizontal, keep in mind. 
I've not upgraded any bearings on this. I love the sounds it makes. I love the way it feels in my hand. I do not feel the clip. I've got this little choke up point, which is more of a sharpening choil than a finger choil, but I can definitely use it, especially up in those, uh, what would you call them, for our detail type cuts or our precision cuts. But yeah, guys, this is Loot 10 Texas, New Breed EDC, the Clydesdale, a knife that I was not initially going to buy. I saw a few reviews, saw some people that I really trust their opinion on that really like the knife. I wanted to give it a try. I brought it in and pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I really get lucky, guys, when I pick out knives because rarely do I pick out a dog. Um, I do have some dogs, have had some dogs like we all do. I can assure you the Clydesdale is not one. If you are looking for a value-minded uh, knife and quality materials built very, very well um, with a big utility knife type cleaver, right? That's going to be the kicker. What are you going to use the knife for? I would think this would be a great work knife. I think this would be a great utility knife. I think it would be a great around-the-house knife. I can see a lot of uses for it. And what I really liked about it, as unique as it is, and is not, I guess, conforming to my normal stuff, why it sat on my middle shelf for a while and I didn't buy it right away, is the same reason that it now occupies a very unique place in my collection. I really like it. I'm a huge fan. I think Lute's a fantastic guy. And, uh, if I didn't even know who designed this knife, I would be just as excited because it is a fantastic specimen. It's not like something I'd see every day, um, but I get it, and I really like it, guys. So that is a Clydesdale from New Breed EDC. I think these are still available on the site. I will leave a link to the site. I have no affiliation with them. I bought it with my money because I like it, and I'm glad I did. And all I ask you guys, after thanking you again for watching my content, is please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.